Mater, Private Eye. The sun was shining brightly in Radiator Springs. Lightning McQueen drove up to the gas station. Can I get some air? He called. My tires are going flat. Just then, Mater popped up as if out of nowhere. Flat tires, you say? I thought I'd done solve that crime. What? Asked Lightning, confused. I was a private eye, Mater explained proudly. No way, Lightning said. Yes way, replied Mater. Then he started to tell his friend a story about his detective days. It was 7.15 on a Friday night, he began. Mater sat behind the desk in his office. On the door was a sign that read, Mater, Private Investigator. Mater was reading a newspaper article about several accidents which were caused by tires blowing out. I was on to something real big, Mater explained. There was some kind of counterfeit tire ring. Knock, knock. A car named Tia drove in. She was wearing a black veil and white wall tires. I need you to find my sister Mia, cried Tia. She's been carnapped. Where did you last see her? asked Mater. She was working for Big D at his club, said Tia. The Carba Cabana. Big D was a fancy sedan who had recently opened a new nightclub. That night, Mater went to the Carba Cabana. On stage, a singer named Carmen was performing with her band. Mater suspected she knew what had happened to Mia. Carmen and Mia had worked together at the club. After her song, Carmen came over to Mater's table. I'm looking for Mia. Have you seen her? Mater asked. That ragtop? exclaimed Carmen. I don't remember. Mater didn't believe her. So he placed four new white wall tires on the table. Suddenly, Carmen remembered. I saw her a couple of days ago with Big D. She smelled salty, like the ocean. Before Mater could ask any more questions, two mean forklifts named Clyde and Claude threw him out of the club. They dragged him into a back alley. You know what happens to guys who shine their headlights in the wrong places? Claude asked Mater. They lose them. Claude took out one of Mater's headlights and smashed it on the ground. It was a warning not to mess with Big D. Mater wasn't going to give up. Luckily, a friendly garbage truck gave Mater a clue that led him to the docks. Then, he saw Mia on the deck of a huge cargo boat. She was wearing a cement boot to prevent her from escaping. Mater hid inside a crate and tried to sneak onto the boat to rescue her. At that moment, the crate lifted up. Mater had been spotted. Some dock workers surrounded Mater. Then, Big D rolled out. A crane grabbed Mater and hoisted him up. Just then, Tia rushed forward. No! Mater was angry. Tia had told Big D that Mater would come to the docks. You double-crossing, double-crosser, shouted Mater. Tia explained that it was the only way to save her sister. Well, you always did the right thing, just the wrong way, Mater said as the crane pulled him over the water. Back in Radiator Springs, Lightning was on the edge of his bumper. What did you do? he asked. Mater laughed aloud. Like you don't know, Lieutenant Lightning McQueen. Then Mater continued telling his tale, except this time his friend was in the story too. Police Lieutenant Lightning McQueen drove on to the docks with a group of squad cars. Looks like we finally caught you, Big D, he said. Get him, a dock worker shouted. The workers pushed barrels down the boat ramp to keep the police away. Meanwhile, Tia was trying to rescue Mater. She hit a switch on the crane and it lowered Mater to the ground. Then Mater threw his tow hook at another crane. Crash! The crane dropped its crate right on Big D. The crate split open and tires spilled all over Big D. Aha! Just what I thought. Counterfeit tires, Mater said. 
Big D had been swapping good tires for fake ones. It was his fault there had been so many car accidents lately. Now that Mater had uncovered Big D's scam, the police stepped in. You led us right to him, Mater, Lightning announced gratefully. Take him away, boys. Lightning's men surrounded Big D and led him off the docks toward the police station. Tia rolled up next to Mater. That was a fine mess you got me into, Tia, Mater said. I'm not bad, she told him. I just drive that way. Tia turned to look at Mater, but he was already gone. He'd had enough trouble for one day. Back in Radiator Springs, Lightning was laughing. Mater, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, he said. Suddenly, Carmen rolled up. Come on, she called. Everybody conga. Carmen's band was following her in a conga line. Mater joined them and started dancing. Lightning's mouth hung open as he watched Mater and the band dance down the street. <laughs>